Hi, and welcome back to our next week in the progression of ACL rehabilitation, following an athlete from surgery all the way back onto the field. We are now in post-op week six of Maddie's progression, and our goals are to gain full active knee extension. At this point, we want to avoid fibrosis from forming. We want to develop a good strength base and work on improving balance and proprioception. Now, active knee extension is something we've been focusing on for the past couple of weeks and haven't been successful. Here you see me using a combination of terminal knee extension with the resistance along with the neuromuscular stimulation to work the quad into full extension. Another technique that I'll use sometimes when we have this issue is to have the patient do some retro walking on the treadmill so they can push the heel and the knee into extension while they're contracting the glutes and the quads at the same time. Along with this, we want to work on improving our strength through the use of a single leg squat. I'll have them work on the glutes using glute extensions on the Roman bench as is seen here. And then we'll also work forward into doing some more uh, dynamic exercises such as the split squat. Now when Maddie first tried this, you can see with her involved leg back, her hip flexor was so tight she leaned forward, which isn't seen on her uninvolved side where she has better flexibility. With some practice and cueing, we were able to get better form, but it still isn't where we need to be. We did some bridging on the medicine ball as seen here. And we did some core stabilization incorporating hip extension on a TheraBall. Now knee extension is one of the things that Maddie is still lacking. So we worked on stretching the uh, rectus femoris as is seen here. We did some more sastum with the tools to work on extending the fibers of the hamstring. There's a lot of passive stretching for both extension and flexion. And finally at the end we're able to get full active extension with a good quad set as is seen here. Our goals for week six were to get full active extension, which we did achieve, develop a good strength base, which we did, and to help improve balance. The second half of phase two is to build the foundation so we can begin the progression of functional exercises. This will be explained next week. If you have any questions from this week, please post them on the forum. Thank you.